21 questions with Odyssey visuals. East Coast or West Coast? West Coast. That's the region. I gotta go with the region. LA, the Bay, or the Coast? The, the Bay. I'm gonna say the Bay. Damn, y'all hear that? The Bay. Shut up. I'm the Bay. Lyrical or Banger? Banger. It's, I'm always gonna choose the, like, it. for me, man, it's not always about saying, saying the most dopest line. You feel me? I'm trying to also make good music. So I wanna make people feel good. So yeah, Banger's always, that's. That's the feel good. That's I've the. I've never heard a song from you that's not lyrical though. I mean because. Lyrical banger. <clears throat> I mean because that's I mean that's just how I write. But it's like people say it's lyrical, but is it? I mean, it's just the level of it's just the level of vocab or words I choose or whatever. But it just depends on beat selection. But for me, the music is gonna override the like. I feel like lyricism is just one thing, but when you have the ability to to um to ride the beat and deliver it with the beat that's what makes it a banger collab or solo solo when you when you when you collab you know it's other stuff that involves a collaboration so yeah solo is always better i was gonna say i haven't heard a collab from you right yeah i mean i got some i got some i got some they coming soon they coming soon so who's your dream collab say the kiss Original beats for sure, cause it get technical on the business on the business side. If a sample isn't clear, shit like that, you gotta you know you might have to come out of pocket. It might get technical. It might get legal. Streetwear or designer? Streetwear. You see what I got on? Boom. Yeah. So when you blow up, nigga, you ain't gonna be wearing no designer. I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna do my thing, man. I'm a, of course, when you have when you have finances, when you have wealth, it's okay. It's permissible to show your wealth, right? But we not we not I'm not draped I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a mannequin I'm not finna dress from head to toe you feel me? Old school or new school? Old school the origin where it, where it all where it all stem from that's history. Auto tune or raw? Raw, because you gotta be able to have your voice intact. You gotta your your voice is an instrument. If you don't know how to if you don't know how to use your voice is is the auto tune is not gonna you know it's it's only gonna it's gonna it's gonna wear out it's gonna get tired. Fame or respect? Respect, always. Versatile style or signature style? And that's the point, versatile style, because that's my that's my thing. I don't ever want to get put in a box. Gangster rap or conscious rap? And that's another thing. Like, for educational purposes, conscious rap was gangster rap. At the time, you know what I'm saying? If you think about hip hop, you know, hip hop was based on our observation of our environment, what was going on around us. So, NWA, when they talk about fuck the police, they talk about the Watts riots and, you know, shit that's going on prior to, you know, the Watts rise, which, you know, Rodney King and, you know, so on and so forth. So, for me, it's not even, you know, it's like hard to choose. I'm going to just say conscious, though. Hyphy or Trump? Hyphy. Cause we grew up, niggas, niggas doing the bird. Niggas grew up doing the bird for sure at the YMCA dances. Niggas going crazy for sure. As soon as that Mac Dre came on, that's what we was doing. That was our go-to dance for any nigga that couldn't dance. That's what we was doing. We was doing the bird for sure. <laughs> Are you a nigga that can't dance? <laughs> I'm just saying, for sure. I was in that category. I didn't want to look goofy for real. What? And then we gonna do the bird? We gonna what? That shit gonna fly for sure. All right, this is gonna be a hard one. Mumble or emo rap? Emo rap, at least them niggas make sense. Yeah, for real. <clears throat> Who's one emo rapper that you know? Cause I feel like you've been saying that. Uh, is it the one dude, uh, Ski Master God? Oh me, Ski Master God, bro. Ski Master God, huh? Right there, that nigga Ski Master God, nigga. <laughs> for real. G Funk or Boom Bap? Ooh. I don't know, man. It's hard. Uh, I'm going to say Boom Pat. I'm going to say Boom Pat. Because G-Funk sometimes is just, uh, it's just a little bit too much. Boom Pat is, like, more simplistic, and you can, like, tell stories. I think, like, G-Funk, that with that energy, you just got to have a certain energy for that for that type of music. Underground or mainstream? Mainstream, because that's where the money at. Cypher or rap battle? A rap battle. I think everybody can rap. Everybody has a talent. Everybody can do something 
musically, right? But I don't think people could actually like rap, rap like when it takes that real time to really rap, where it's like I'm trying to like like it's like rap or die, you know what I'm saying? Type rap. <clears throat> it's only a selective few, so I just feel like a rap battle is gonna pretty much you know determine if you really really got it or not. Like as far as like a, a rapper or artist performer, you know everything is everything. Would you rather be the Best rapper or the rapper with the most clout? <sighs> Why would you ask me that on camera? The best rapper, man. The best rapper. If a song played every time you walked in the room, what would it be? I ain't gonna lie. Right now, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I play that Privacy by uh, Rylan Styles and Lil Goat. That shit go crazy. Right now. Every day, for sure, right now. If you could listen to one album for the rest of your life, what would it be? Damn, that's a good one. One album. Get Rich or Die Trying. Get Rich or Die Trying. Easy. Get Rich or Die Trying. Easy. If you could have any artist serenade you on your birthday, who would it be? What? <laughs> what, bro? What? If you could have any artist serenade you on your birthday, who would it be? Artists serenade me. You ain't finna, yeah, we ain't going for that. You gonna have me on social media looking crazy, nigga. What? Hold on. There's so many of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, all right. We gonna skip that. Right. <laughs> what rapper would be the most annoying roommate and why? Ah. <laughs> Damn, bro. You asking me some crazy ass questions. Kodak Black. Because <laughs> that nigga look like he be getting loaded. <laughs> That nigga be high, bro. He gonna have a nigga. He gonna have a nigga in some shit. If you could swap lives with a rapper for one day, who would it be? Uh, Fifty Cent on me because that nigga's a genius. That nigga the whole blueprint, everything he did. That nigga's a genius. What would you be doing, bro? I'll be learning all kind of shit. I'll be learning. I'll be learning as much as possible, nigga. What and, and put that shit like it's a CIA movie. You know them niggas going in rooms and they steal the chip. That's how I'm going to be with the information when I go back to my original body. Who's the best female rapper? I ain't going to lie. There's a chick right now I follow on Instagram named Raina, Raina Simone. She go crazy, bro. She just she just fucking she fucking with Hitmaker with, with Young Berg right now. So she go crazy. I've been Who following her for a minute. the GOAT minute. rapper is? The GOAT rapper? Uh, in my era, I'm going to just say it for my, for my era, for me, I'm going to say Lil Wayne. How do you feel about the current state of hip-hop? I just feel like people just, you know, I just feel like it's too easy, man. It used to be a time where, you know, it had to be a requirement. You know, back to what I was saying about gangster rap and, you know, conscious rap. It used to be a time where, you know, you had to actually live what you was talking about. You feel me? You had to actually be from somewhere that you spoke about in your music. You get what I'm saying? So I just feel like now it's wide open to where people could just create an image and entertain and get money. You know what I'm saying? Exploit it based on, you know, opportunity. And, you know, while, you know, other people <clears throat> that's actually, you know, been through certain things, has actually really been through and actually had a talent and a skill set with the work ethic to, you know, be in that same position. But I just feel like, man, a lot of people kind of like uh, confuse their intention. They don't really know what they in it for. You feel what I'm saying? So I just feel like, you know, and that's why we have the music. So when you have passion about something, I just feel like, you know, you're going to put your all into it. I care about what I'm putting into this. You see what I'm saying? So when you don't have no passion about it, I just feel like from my perspective, you're not. That's what people, it falls on deaf ears. I just feel like they just in it for the wrong reason. No YouTube likes or whatever the case may be. They don't realize you can actually like make money off this. If your business is structured right, you can actually be a brand. You can actually be, you know, but. When you look at it, uh, when you treat it as just something like just nothing, you know, you don't, you're not chasing the art. You feel me? So when I put, when I put time into writing a verse, like I'm, this is me as if I'm talking to you right now. You see what I'm saying? So I just feel like dudes that write, that do the music, when off the verse or when they're not rapping, they're not the same. You see what I'm saying? They don't know how to speak. They don't, they don't carry themselves in that same way. And so, you know, that's the problem. Be and that's where they lose opportunity. You see what I'm saying? And hence hip hop, <laughs> what we got today. You feel me? All right, we about to wrap it up. Is there anything you want your fans to know that they don't know about you? Fun fact? Anything else you want to say? Fun fact? 
Well, I used to meditate, you know what I'm saying? For those that don't know, you know, I'm in the, you know, I do type stuff like that, you know? I know how to cook, too. Yeah, very good. Are you talking to the females or are you talking Hey, to I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm saying, though, I, I'm just putting that out there. I know how to cook. Some people may not, some people may think, this nigga know how to do anything else? I know how to cook. You feel me? Come on. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. Feel me? I know how to do a few things. And we on Odyssey Visuals Podcast. Wait, we got my boy in the building. My boy Carlos in the building. Carlos Oregano. His funny ass. Yeah, we out. Young hand.